In this example, we are going to look at a small mass inside a smooth hemisphere or a boat. Let's read the question. It is released from rest. So the small mass is released from rest at P. Okay. When it reaches the lowest point T, the speed is 4 meter per second. All right. So we can see a gain in kinetic energy happening here from P all the way to T. The diagram is not to scale. It shows the speed at other points Q, R, S. So basically, don't take the distance as any given information, just the relative positions, right? Okay. And air resistance is negligible. Great. The mass loses potential energy in falling from P to T. At which point has the mass lost potential energy E over 4? All right. So let's try to slot in all this important information first. Okay, let me zoom in a bit. We start off our ball from here and the kinetic energy is zero. So at this point, Ke is zero. Okay, and of course, uh, we can find the Ke at T in terms of M. Okay, so I'm going to let uh, M be the mass of the ball. Right. So if you think about this, when we travel from P to T, the change in kinetic energy will be equal to the change in gravitational potential energy. All right. And your GPE will decrease. So the mass loses potential energy E when falling from P to T. And this can be equal to half mv square minus uh, zero. Or rather, if you really want to be specific about it, I'm taking the kinetic energy at T, subtracting the kinetic energy at P. So we are looking at P to T. Okay. Uh, thankfully, P is zero. No kinetic energy. This is half m times 4 squared. Okay. Because the speed at T is 4. And this is equal to E. So from here, right, I can see that uh, 8m is equal to E. Miss, you say, we don't have m. Doesn't matter because I can reverse and find B. Okay, let me show you what I mean. Just leave it here first. You know E is 8M. But now we kind of need to know uh, whether <clears throat> when it decreases from E over 4, which point is it? Is it S? Is it R? Is it Q? Or is it none of the above? Okay. So assuming that the change in GPE is E over 4, when the lost in GPE is equal to E over 4. I can say that this loss E over 4 is equal to gain in Ke. Okay, so the loss in this GPE is the gain in Ke. How much is the gain in Ke? Well, I can then put half mv square here, right? Okay, and I want to find this new velocity. Okay, now let's say I call this v2 square. Okay, previously that one was just B. So right now, this is E over 4, but I know E. E is 8M. See this? So I'm going to put 8M here. 8M over 4 is equal to half MV squared. Do you see the M will cancel off, right? And you have 16 over 4 is V squared. So from here, 16 over 4 is 4. 4 is equal to V squared. V is equal to 2 meter per second. So this means when there is a loss in GPE of E over 4, your V is 2 meter per second. There, 2 meter per second. Your answer would be R. All right. So whenever you have this kind of like a variable situation, try to use the information that you have. For example, losing uh, potential energy E when you fall from P to T. Once you have that potential energy, change, you can equate that to Ke. So we are still just playing with the interchange of Ke and Gp. Alright, so whatever you don't have, leave it first. Later we can substitute and do some simplifying. Alright, that's it for this question. I'll see you in the next example. Bye.